In this video, we're going to be using Shannon Soap's Venus and the Above the Tie SSRH Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. Let's get into it today. The soap for today is Shannon's Soap Venus. And this is a collaboration with the Razor Company. Uh, the price on this, very good, $15.99 for four ounces or on a cost chart there, $3.99 an ounce, which is a good price, a very good quality soap. And I love the scent on this one. Really, really beautiful scent. This one is inspired by Chanel Chance. I'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. Patchouli, pineapple, pink pepper, lemon, jasmine, vanilla, musk, some of the notes. And sometimes musk and uh, patchouli can come off funky, but in this one, it works beautifully. And it's a really, really nice scent. Scent strength, slightly below medium, but when you lather it, it sort of picks up a little bit. This is a tallow-based soap, and this is the chupacabra base, which is awesome. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. I really, really like the scent of this soap. It lathered easily, as is always the case with Shannon's for me. Pop a lather shot up for you right, right there. One of the things that happens with Shannon's for me is it gets creamy very quickly, but it doesn't sacrifice volume. And I like that a lot. It's why it's one of my favorite uh, bases to use. It's such an easy soap to lather. And if you want to see how I lather it, you're, you're new, excuse me, just look at the lather tutorials below. I've made plenty of them. And the last one I used, uh, Shannon's Orange Ginger Twist, which is also an awesome soap. But check this out if you want to see how I lather them. The razor for today is the Above the Tie SSRH, which is a nice, efficient razor. This is all stainless steel, made in the United States. It'll run you about $185. But if you're looking to buy something from Above the Tie, use discount code IMCDB and you can get 10% off your order if you plan to buy from above the tie. Uh, I love this razor and I love the Atlas handle. The SSRH, the gap on it is about 0.80 or 0.80 and above the tie rates this is eight out of nine in efficiency and you know I have to do it. Anytime I use this razor, I have to do the what I call the sort of the Atlas slide, whereas I'm just holding it there and I let it slide down and it turns on its own because of that beautiful barber pole type knurling, and I love this razor. It's very nice. So we look forward to using all this stuff uh, today. Thank you so much for joining me. By the way, don't forget, this Friday night, 8 p.m., Real Talk will be back on Instagram Live. Our guest will be Pete from Hendrix Classics and Company, and you've been hearing a lot about Pete recently, so it'll be good to, uh, to, to have Pete on and you know hear it directly from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Man. Such a creamy, creamy, creamy lather here. I tell you what, Shannon's, if you haven't tried it, try it. Get this Chupacabra base, and it is just beautiful, beautiful stuff. The brush for today is the uh, BA Phantom Air Light, which I enjoy using a lot. It is a fantastic brush. Oh man, creamy goodness here with Shannon's, and that's what I always expect. It's probably, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, it's probably my overall favorite soap to lather because I find it super easy to work with and it gets creamy very, very quickly and it develops the volume that I like. And so it just suits me. Now there's many, many other bases that I love as well. You know, A&E, Sterling, I could go on and on, three, four, five, you know, there's, but this one for me is special because it becomes an excellent lather, you know, that buttercream or Greek yogurt, whatever you want to call it super easily so i don't really have to work at it and look at that that is just creamy goodness right there <laughs> you, just, you cannot complain about that and the scent on this one is fantastic again i call it off the puck uh under medium and then once you lather it it approaches medium and sort of knocks on the door which is fine for me as long as it's not too too light to where i can't smell it or i have to work to smell it um it, i'm not bothered by it if the if the scent is slightly under medium, 
Oh man, we're looking forward to this. Sorry for trying to talk while the water was running there. That doesn't ever come, come across very well. Oh man. I don't know if I've ever, ex ever experienced this particular scent, but I gotta say, I like it. I like it. It's a, it's a really nice scent. In my opinion, let's dry our hands off and we will get down to business with the with the uh, Bud the Tar Razor. Nasset is the blade in it. It's gonna be a fresh blade and I'm just gonna do two relatively quick passes today because uh, I have to shave quite early because I have some things to do. Actually, it'll be this evening, some, you know, probably 12, 15 hours from now. So there won't be a lot of growth. So I don't wanna do a lot of touching up and I don't need to get super, super close. But the SSRH here is quite efficient, so within my two passes here, it's going to get the job done quite well without a lot of extra work required. I do own several above the tie razors, and I uh, I enjoy them. And by the way, if you tried to use the discount code last month, I apologize. Above the tie disabled those because they had some really nice sales going on. But it should be working again. So if you want to use that, please help yourself. It does help the channel as well. So thank you if you do. But as I always say, anytime I give you a promo code or discount code, don't buy something just because of that promo code or discount code. Buy something only if you're looking to buy from there. Because I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, but if you're looking, you know, take advantage of the the discount or free gift or whatever they offer as a result of that code, you might as well take advantage of it, save some money, what have you. All right, that was an excellent first pass. I'll tell you what, the Shannons, it never disappoints, um, at least in terms of the quality of the soap. I don't always like every single scent, but you know, for the most part, I don't like every scent from any company. I think Crown and Crane is the one I haven't had a miss from yet. Um, and maybe Master Soap Creations. I, I can't recall if I've missed on that one, but um, but it's it's rare for me to like every single scent. But I tell you, this one is good. And these collaboration soaps that Shannon's has been doing with the Razor Company, they have just created a beautiful partnership. Um, and they have done some amazing work there and I think like I said in my last video where I use Shannon's um, it has really taken Shannon's to the next level in my opinion now they have you know new labels which I like a lot more than the old they have some even better scents because you know they're working together with the razor company Jason over there who's a super nice guy and it's really benefited I think both and so I'm happy to see that because I've been a long time fan and advocate for Shannon Soaps, as you well know, if you've watched the channel. Man, that is good stuff. And I remember for quite some time, we would say, man, this is really good soap, and people just ignored it. Not the case anymore. <laughs> They're pretty busy at Shannon's now. So that's really awesome. All right, man, what a pleasant, pleasant synthesis. This is definitely a winner. I like the scent a lot. And again, had I seen those two notes, musk and patchouli, which in my view, there are um, several what I call pillars of funk. Musk is one of them. Patchouli is one of them. This has got two pillars of funk in it, and the scent is still beautiful. And I think what happens sometimes is when I see this in a uh, perfume, those notes in a perfume, in a dupe, like that's been made by a big fragrance house, usually the scent is still pretty good. It's not funky, but sometimes when the artisans use patchouli or musk, it comes across like a funk bomb. Uh, <laughs> and so not the case with this one because everything blends and it's, it's very, very nice, at least to my nose. So I'm happy with uh, both Mars and Venus. Mars was kind of the flanker to this soap or Venus is the flanker to Mars, whatever you want to say. Um, very nice. Wow. Outstanding quality on this soap. And I've been loving the Nasset blade too. Let me know. How do you feel about, uh, Nasset blades? Is it one of your go-to blades? 
it has become that for me. I really like it. For me, I think it's a good um, all around blade like that I can use in just about every razor. Now I know our good friend, um, Lord Shady, he doesn't like NASA blades. They don't work well for him. But um, you sort of have to figure out which blades work best for you, just like soaps and razors and everything else. But for him, he's, he tends to have bad luck with them. Um, but, but I love them. They're probably, let's put it this way, they would be in my top five. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean much to you, the viewer, because just because I like NASA blades, it does not assure that you will. You really have to use this stuff to figure out what you like and don't like. And what I like, you may have a different experience with. So keep that in mind. Especially when it comes to blades and scents. Blade choice is just extremely subjective. Or blade preference, I should say. Just to repeat, blade preference is subjective, I should say. What you really appreciate and enjoy. But the NASA for me is smooth sail is sailing. I think it's uh, reasonably sharp um, while maintaining some smoothness, at least for me. All right. Tell you what. Fantastic shave today. Absolutely nothing to complain about. <laughs> Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our Razor Rock Travel Alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Really nice shave, I enjoyed that. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we tailed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Shannon Soaps, uh, Venus, which is a collaboration with the Razor Company. Beautiful scent, beautiful quality, beautiful price, beautiful everything. Exceptional soap here, Shannon's. I loved it. We also had a fantastic shave with our Above the Tie SSRH with the Atlas handle. Absolutely phenomenal. I enjoyed it. Nice, efficient razor, well built. Above the Tie has been making these razors for a long time and they're still around for good reason. One of my favorite razors, even today, after all this time. I really enjoyed it. We used our PAGA Phantom Aerolite, which I love, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. We used our HCNC bowl. Once again, I've been really enjoying that. And we will close things out today, once again, with Sterling Mountain Man, which is the next aftershave that I'm targeting to finish up. But this one's gonna take a while, but that is okay. Let's slap this on and we're gonna be smelling good and off to the races and having a great day. And by the way, that's just an expression when I say off to the races. Some folks have, have asked, am I literally going off to the horse races? No, it's just an expression, meaning we're gonna get our day started and we're gonna do it well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.